What is up guys, welcome back to Heist. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make step-by-step -step guides and procedures for your business in literally minutes. So instead of taking screenshots and compiling emails and not having a really clean way to store and create your procedures, we're gonna actually walk through exactly how to do it in an efficient, easy way so it looks exactly like this. Let's jump into my computer so you know what the tool is, how I use it, and how you can use it too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do an over the shoulder here so you can see how literally in minutes you can create one of these step-by-step -step guides to create some standard operating procedures in your business. So the site we're gonna go to is called scribe.how and I've got a referral link if you do backslash Adam Heist. I think you get a bit of a deal and you pay for some of my coffee. So thanks if you use my link. I'll also leave it down below and pinned in the comments. But it's pretty simple, you just sign up. Um, most of the stuff honestly is free. Now we're gonna get into some of the pro features which is like 29 bucks a month but you can do a ton with this thing for free and definitely don't need to upgrade your account necessarily. One of the things that you're gonna wanna do is download the Chrome extension after you've actually signed up and it'll show up here. And then you can basically hit this thing anytime you're browsing the web, regardless of what the actual procedure that you're looking to document. Anytime you're ready to do that on your desktop, you just go ahead and click that scribe button. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to document very recent process, literally this week that I had somebody on my team do. We've got a new 40 minute free Amazon FBA masterclass that we created. And what I wanted to actually do is drop a link to that actual video and that free training in the description of all of my highest viewed videos, as well as in a pinned comment. And I wanted to have somebody on my team kind of go through and sort through kind of most viewed videos down and inserting that free class that we created. Go ahead and click that Chrome extension so I can start recording. And then from this point on, it's gonna record everything I do and document the steps. Since it's uh, taking place on YouTube, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to youtube.com. And then in my actual account, the Adam Heist account, I'm gonna go to the YouTube studio, which is kind of the back end if you actually create videos yourself. Down here to content, sort this by views. And then anytime I want to edit one of my videos, whether it be the thumbnail, the description, anything else, I can basically come in here and click this details button. And then this is the actual snippet that I had my team do right here. So they basically went and they added this to the description. So that was one of the steps. And then the second step that I wanted them to do is to actually go into the YouTube video itself and then actually edited the pinned comment. So it went here and then went edit and then just added this snippet here. Two really simple steps, but for me to actually shoot a Loom video or to try to type this up in an email. I didn't want to do that. And this took me literally minutes to do this and it creates a really cool comprehensive guide. So I'm going to go ahead and um, stop the recording. And then this is how badass this thing is. So it's gone ahead and it's created every single thing, every step and every click that I conducted as part of this SOP in this process. So I could just come in here and I could edit this title here. I basically just have how to add promo link to YouTube description. Uh, you could add even more descriptions here. You can see it's 14 steps, took two minutes to do. So I could actually add different sections here. So let's say that I wanted to call this the introduction. I could come in here and edit this title, that. So it basically says to navigate to youtube.com, click this image and say I wanted to edit that. I could put click count logo top right so I can edit that, but it's also showing it here. Click content is already kind of uh, navigated here. Let's say I needed to move the steps around. I could obviously juggle that. I could add a step if I thought one was missing and record it, which is really cool. Or I could add just a manual snippet here if I didn't cover it and I could just do it in written form, which is pretty badass. And I did command C because I was just copying this, but this isn't a necessary step. So if something shows up that you didn't want in there that you actually conducted, it's pretty easy to delete just as it is easy to actually insert new steps. So let's say that we wanted to add a new header here to kind of signify that this is the pinned comment step. We can do that there. Go ahead and save it. Let's say that this is the edit description part portion. We can save that like that. So we can click done there. And then here's what's really cool. So we've got the three different sections. I can run to any one of those sections to see what part of the step and procedure, if you've got kind of categorized procedures as part of it, and we're good to go. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to actually do some annotations. Either I wanted to add some verbiage in here. I wanted to have some like pointed arrows or something like that. Let's just use this as an example. Let's say I'd, even though I click there and it's pretty obvious, maybe I want to really signify where they actually need to click. So I'll go ahead and click that icon there to see the image and then I can actually annotate. So again, I can add text, I could add a line, I could add an arrow, I could erase stuff. Uh, I could use a Sharpie if I wanted to just do a written version. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And that's my bastardized arrow, uh, but point into that right thing, hit done. And then you'll see here that after it's kind of done that, it's actually added that too. So you can do some really cool customization. So here's where it gets, uh, I think, pretty sweet. Um, in addition to just how quickly and easily this was to put together versus 
is doing a ton of screenshots. You can actually share this uh, in a really meaningful way. So I'm gonna go ahead and click share here. I can actually email somebody this as a link if I wanted to. I could do a smart embed or I could actually export it. So one thing you could do is actually export as a PDF as an example. If you wanted to email this to somebody, you wanted to post it in Slack, go ahead and view the PDF. So let's say I've got that PDF and I actually wanna come into Slack and just say, hey, Paulo, if you don't mind adding new promotional verbiage to all our popular YouTube videos today, here is the procedure. And then I could add that promo and then boom, uh, I've got that new task right there. One other, I would say pro hack, and you do need a pro version of the account to do this that we like to use is we actually use a software called getguru.com to house all of our procedures in a database system that's searchable, it's just the core part of how we manage and database our SOPs. The other cool thing is you can copy the snippet if you wanted to include this on your website. So let's say it's an instruction manual for customers. You could have a link on your website that actually showed this step by step or in the case case of using it in other SOP tools, I'm just going to go here to our guru and, and then with the HTML snippet, go ahead and hit paste and then look at that. It's now all the way into our system, which is searchable. We got like 300 plus SOPs now for our business. And again, you can even edit this within the actual guru card if you wanted to, which is super cool. And the other thing I like about using guru for this, in addition to the searchability, you could come in here and you can actually add a loom video. So let's say that you wanted to have a step-by-step -step guide here for somebody that wanted to review the written and visual instructions. And then somebody might want to actually do an over the shoulder like we are doing here and watch a video. So I could come in here, I could actually shoot a quick Loom video and then I could actually include the Loom video here as well. Again, if you want access described, hit that link down below. Well, I hope you guys thought that was as badass as I thought it was because Scribed is really an incredible tool that we're now going to fully integrate into how we create standard operating procedures and how we create tasks and how we document our business so it's more scalable and we can leverage our teammates and tasks to get things done. And if this is your first time here, we drop content like this every single Monday. So go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you wanna be around for a little bit longer, check out this next video that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you're gonna like. Cheers, guys.